What's up, soul family and my babies? How y'all doing tonight? So tonight, um, I'm going to name this topic for your child, <laughs> okay? And the reason why I say it is because my baby, he calls me Mama Panda. And it makes so much sense because, you know, um, people, a lot of people refer to me as Mama Bear, okay? Because I go beast mode when it comes down to my child which is true i do i when it comes down to my child i will shut everything down for him um and the reason why is because um i have my different views on how um parents or mother should really nurture their child you know what i'm saying when it comes down to it like i always want my son to know that i love him but i won't prevent him from doing anything that he got going on in his life you know what i'm saying but why you still this little and why you still a minor you minus okay i'm still gonna watch you take care of you cover you like a mother should you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna get in a little bit i hope i won't be too long on this but i want to make sure that i get in depth about it when it comes down to being a mother bear okay mama bear or however you want to word it mama bear mother bear whatever we're gonna say mama bear all right so all right, so, you know, as a mama, you know, we always want to make sure that, you know, we don't want to hold our kids back when it comes down to getting acquainted with other people. However, you know, it don't necessarily have to do with trauma that their mother has went through or anything like that. It's the simple fact that are you going to do the same shit that you do everybody else when it comes down to how you take care of people? Like, I, I really got this thing against um, adults treating kids like they that equal you know what i'm saying and what i mean by that like you can up and not give a fuck when you want to you know what i'm saying like you can't do these kids and this is just my thing that you can't just all of a sudden you got something to do and you just drop my child with somebody else no motherfucker see that's how you mess up with me you understand what i'm saying like if i trust my child with you that's exactly what I want you to do. Understand what I'm saying? Not leave my child with nobody else because it's like money. All right? You would never... If somebody... If you borrow... Somebody sing... If you let somebody borrow $20 from you, you wouldn't want that $20 coming out. Nobody can but the person that you loan that $20 to. Okay? You need to treat kids 10 times better than that $20. That's how I feel. You understand what I'm saying? That ain't no piece of uh, a paper with some Levi in it. It's a whole human being. It's a whole human being. So if I become a little bit too bossy when it comes down to my child, so be it. Or I understand like some people get on their level, you know, those have their own vices or whatever, you know, but be responsible. Be responsible. Let me say that again. Be responsible. Don't nobody have time to be sitting here back and forth with you about, oh, I didn't know or how I, 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 I was just or what, what do you expect? I'm not going to hear that shit. I'm not going to give a fuck about what you talking about because now I'm seeing red. And if I don't pull off or walk off with my child soon enough, I'm going to black the fuck out. I'm, I'm a real mama bear when it comes down to my child. I'm a real because one thing about it, your child may forget everything everybody else done did, but they'll never forget what their mama did. So it's not about what another person did. It's about how I respond to it. So if I become a little bit too overprotective, so be it. I'm slapping grannies, mamas, daddies, everybody. I'm calling daddies, bitches, granddaddy, bitch asses. I'm calling uh, uncles, sit your punk ass down. I'm saying every motherfucking thing to break you apart when it comes down to my child. I honestly feel like every mother should feel that way. That's just my personal opinion, but I can't tell nobody else what to do. You understand what I'm saying? So... My thing is, it's not about how you treat me. I don't give a fuck about none of that gl glitter and glamour and shit. I don't give a damn about that shit. It's all about how you treat my child. My child is my love language. I don't give a damn. And I'm just one of those mamas. Like, if I don't give it, I don't give a fuck with that 99.99 .99 shit say. Okay? is wh What are you willing to do to step in? If I'm willing to do that to the to the own father, what I'm going to do to somebody who ain't the real one what i'm gonna do to the granny yeah you might be the reason why this child is here because if 
you wouldn't hear, we wouldn't be here, and we wouldn't hear, the child wouldn't be here. But some of y'all be way too disrespectful and too big for your damn britches. Okay? Especially if a person sat up in labor and pushed that, that big-headed child by themselves. You really don't have no word or no call on shit. So people need to understand how a person feel when it come down to their child. Like that's why they, that's why I, I, I accept that name my baby called me when it comes down to being Mama Panda because I black the hell out and I don't give a damn about what you done did for me. I don't give a damn what you consider me. I don't give a fuck if you feel like you are you are entitled in my life. It's not about how you treat me. It's about how you treat my child. Okay. He got way more years to go than me. So if you feel like it's okay to leave my child unattended and I left my child with you and I'm taking care of business, you let me know that I need to go on and shut this shit down. I looked at my son square in the eye last night. And I and I, I kid you not, he probably had the most spooky, but he, he, he gave me a level of... I think he understood where I was coming from when I said what I said. I looked my baby square in the eye. I said, why do people feel like they should fuck with me when it come down to you? I said, baby, do you know how much your mama love you? Do you know how much your mama love you? Baby, I do 25 years to motherfucking life about you. I don't give a damn about nobody else when it come down to you. Somebody play with you, I promise I'll set a whole, I'll blaze a whole motherfucking house on fire with they mama in it. Because they didn't give a damn about your mama when it came down to you. And that's facts. I'm just being real, man. I don't give a damn if I'm wrong in the situation or not. I give respect. I don't I don't just give it out because I you entitled to the respect. Man, I give respect because I want it in return. And when it comes down to my son, man, I want the utmost respect. Because then nobody sit there for 72 hours but me. And nobody laid up in that bed for three days but me. And I feel like most mamas need to feel that way when it comes down to their baby. You ain't just popping out, baby. Let me tell you something. Man, when it comes down to your... You, do you know how much your body go through just to recover from every time you have a baby? Man, I'm talking about you want to know why most women go through postpartum depression? It's because all of the hormones that you had developed over, the, over so many years, I'm talking about come all the way back at one time. So it's almost like all the hormones that you developed that you can develop in three years you come back in six months tell me one reason why a person should feel so above a person like a mother like me if you a mother i'm a mother then we need to respect each other the same way i don't give a damn if it's your son if your son can't find it in his heart to respect me then guess what i don't need him in my presence anyway because i don't need nobody who can't respect women around my son and that's period. Or you can be a memory. Or I once knew you. That's exactly how it's going to be. So don't put yourself in a situation where you feel like you okay with being disrespectful to these women, man. Because it's not cool. Especially if they're a mother. You don't know how much they have to sacrifice. Man, as a mother, you sacrifice everything for your child. If you ever feel like, man, she pissed me off. I can't be around her. Or I don't like her. Or I, I don't like to fool with her. Or I just really don't fuck with her like that. But I fuck with her son. Bruh, I'm going to tell you right now. Me and my son is a package deal. You don't fuck with me. You don't fuck with him. That's just period. Because if you already mistreat me based off what you don't like about me, then you let me know as soon as my son don't like, do some shit that you don't like, then you're going to start mistreating the both of us. And that's how, exactly how I go. I go straight blank mode. And nine times out of ten, it happens that way. This is not trauma. This is real shit here. I'm not a mama bear for nothing. So... I'm glad I wrapped that up for those who don't understand what, how a real mother get down. But I'm just letting you know, as gentle as I am, I will off you. So with that being said, I want y'all to stay blessed, 
stay humble, stay healthy, but most of all, peace.